Mr. Kelly, one and a half minutes. Good morning, Dr. John. I was regarding the question of the Commissioner. Can I tell you, Sefkic, as of the launch of the NOV, is to stand more than our investigated carbon and light duga nord fee for the Kuga Achtasha Indian. So, as one who represented Parliament in COP21 and 22, and will be in COP24 in Poland. And as a rapporteur for the renewable energy file here for the EPP group, I welcome these announcements today. And also, I think that uh, we are being ambitious, regardless of what people say. And as the Commissioner said, if we don't lead, nobody will follow. So Europe is doing that, and I think that's what we need to do. I'm going to mention something I haven't mentioned before, and that is those who might be left behind. I welcome the emphasis on the socio-economic impact where uh, citizens and workers are made redundant. In my own constituency, uh, Bournemouth has announced 430 jobs because, lost jobs, losses because of the closure of peat factories or station, power stations. I would be the last person to say these should be left open. Obviously not. But we do need to show empathy with these. And I think there are opportunities for us to have a just transition fund at, na at national level uh, to use the MFF. Uh, I'm in the rapporteur for uh, my group on InvestEU. The, all these need to be explored so that nobody is left behind. This is a very important point. And I think if we do that, we can make progress, but it has to be inclusive and fair. And I think we can bring citizens with us in that way. Thank you. Madam Goodard, for one minute, please. Oui, merci, Madame la Présidente. Suite aux conclusions alarmistes du GIEC, la Commission européenne a décidé d'accélérer la réalisation des objectifs des accords de Paris à 2050. Les peuples européens vont devoir expier ce qu'a structuré leur mode de vie depuis un siècle et faire pénitent.